Good morning, JJ family. What up, man? How you guys doing? Y'all good? You good, girl? I thought I turned it on. No. Yo, how you guys doing, man? Let us know in the comments right now how your day has been so far. It's probably in the afternoon for you guys right now as you're watching this, but for us, it's the morning time. So last night, you guys seen in the previous video, we didn't even get to finish it. I, I wasn't feeling all that great. A lot of us weren't feeling great. I don't know if it's something that we ate, but we ain't feeling all that good. So we're about to start off this morning. Nice, chill, relaxed. Today's gonna be a chilling day, but we wanna have some tea. So I'm just hoping that having some tea is gonna make me feel better, and there's no better opportunity for us to demonstrate to you what exactly we're gonna be using to make our special little tea. So we're about to use this self-stirring cup sent to us by GHGM. This little cup does wonders, and we're about to just give you guys an honest review on how it works. So the first great feature of this cup is that it does not need any batteries or buttons to start working. All it needs is just some hot water for it to start functioning. So while it's stirring, it's actually cooling the temperature down. So like that you don't have to worry if you're going to take a sip, it's going to be too hot. You'll know exactly when to start drinking it because it will stop stirring on its own. It also has a thermal stirring function that will keep your drink warm and you don't have to worry about it cooling down too quick. So right now I'm actually going to have me some hot chocolate guys. You can actually put the hot chocolate. In, in this mug and it is gonna stare. First, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the temperature of the water, it's at least 100 degrees Celsius. Just pour the water in there. All right now you can see that it's spinning on its own. Grab yourself a spoon of hot cocoa, put it in there and boom, it's doing its magic. That's how it works. The mug itself will stir coffee, milk, chocolate, powder, honey, syrup. This is stuff that it will just do on its own. You don't have to go and shake it yourself or use a spoon to stir it. All you have to do is just leave it on its own and it's gonna work its match. This mug is perfect for on the go, when you're driving to work, when you're traveling, or even when you're at home and you're busy as it starts itself. So it's been like 30 seconds and right now it seems to start slowing down just little by little. Eventually it will come to an end when it's not stirring no more. That's when it will be safe for you to drink. The cup is made of high stainless steel. It's waterproof, durable and it's safe to use wherever you go. So right now it looks like it's come to a complete stop. You don't really see where it's stirring no more. When it's like this it is because now it is safe to drink. The mug itself, it doesn't overheat, it doesn't get hot. The water itself is quite hot, but the mug will stay quite cool for you to be able to wrap around it. It's not hot at all. I can literally just drink this right now and it's not hot at all. So thank you so much GHGM for sending this to us. This is perfect for us because we're always on the go and we're always rushing. If you're someone who's the same as us, this is the perfect product for you. The links will be down in the description. I make sure to go check them out. If you do end up buying it, let us know and share how your experience was making your first drink. I just took over. We're here with my brother and Joanna. We're about to go where, Jeffrey? Your mom's house. Where are we going, Jeffrey? Your mom's house. Where are we going? Oh, beach was. Where are we going? Why'd you close the door? Open your own door. I'm gonna smack you. I right, say, so Joanna, where are we going today? We are going to Peter's Park. It's like five minute walk, but people here are lazy. So we're gonna take the car. She really said people here are lazy. Yeah. Okay. Now why did you say it's nothing? Five minutes away, guys. That's cap, and I, it's too hot. It's, it's more convenient, the car. It's too hot. I don't wanna, I don't wanna walk. But you're about to ball up. Exactly, bro. I need to shave up my, I need to be cool before I play basketball. Okay. I'm not trying to be so cool. Hot and I don't want to When did you start school, Jenny? Bro, oh my god. If I can touch camera, I really would. Guys, they're always clowning me, bro. Literally, they're always clowning me because I start school in three days. Oh my god. Hi. That's not even funny. Like, by the time y'all probably see this video, I'm probably gonna be at school. That's not good, bro. So, we're gonna get Joanna for Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, he's leaving. Oh no, he is. So me and Jeff are about to ball up over here. There's people all over there. 
Alright, so little brother was recording stupid little videos. But I, I wanna I wanna introduce you guys to something that my brother did maybe like 10 years ago that I did not kill him because I love him. Here we have some eggs that I had when I was what in sophomore year, maybe like 10 years ago. And this mother effer went into my room. He grabbed the sharpie and started coloring all over them. All over them. That's what it, that's what you get. Cause Apparently he was bored and my mom let him go into my room and then he did whatever he wanted And that wasn't the only pair. There were other ones as well So this is why now all I do is just use them for basketball because never in my right mind will I ever use Jordans to ball up that is just crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure where wifey is. She's taking forever to get here, but I'm gonna just warm up while wifey gets here because we might end up playing around the world because she thinks she's dope But she ain't look at my baby Look at that girl. She got her Dunkins, so she's hella happy. How you doing, girl? Ooh, I got a sticker. You got a who? I didn't even notice. Sip, peel, and win. Oh. Duncan, if I don't win. Is this you? Oh, no. You're not an instant winner, but you still have a chance to win a sweepstakes prize. Damn. All right, so wife is here. She finally got her drink. Is it good? They made it good. I, I haven't even tried it. Try it. It probably is good. Cream or no cream? Oh my god. What? It's like a mini orange. Okay, then PG. But yes, we're about to go ahead and um, just practice shooting around and stuff. Um, my bro Jetty here thinks he's a beast. Wife is just gonna sit there being pretty. Don't put it up in my face. Oh, it's not. You guys probably seen the little clips of us at the basketball court just playing around. Oddly, weirdly, started raining with the sun out, so we did. Because my little brother has to go get his school shoes. Look at his. Jerry, why are you so serious? What happened to you? Damn, he ain't even talking. Javen, thank so, you for the water. So, what happened to him? His tailbone hurts. His, how? What? Your tailbone hurts? How come? Oh, he can't speak. How come his elbow hurts, man? Still playing basketball. Playing basketball? What? So, we're home. We're chilling. Wifey's doing her little girly stuff to always stay on top of her beauty. Right, girl? Boy, if you don't get... Oh, damn. Not with that face. Damn. Jesus. Darren, I have a serious question for you. When you're older, right? Let's say 25. What are your hopes to have achieved by that age? What goals would you have wanted to achieve by the time you're 25? Complete college. College? Hey, that's a good one. Um, travel. Travel? You want to travel? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the one country you'd like to travel to? Dubai. Dubai. But career-wise, what would you like to be by the time you're 25? A lawyer. A lawyer? Okay, what kind of lawyer? A tax attorney. Oh, a tax. Damn. Jerry. What would you like to have achieved by the time you're 25? I don't know. A Fortnite streamer? What? You want to be a Fortnite streamer? Oh my god. Wifey. Oh, never mind. You're, you're past yeah, 25. Yeah, don't even. What would you like to have achieved by the time you're 30? Oh, wow. By the time you're 30, what would you like to achieve? Um, a time machine so I can go back to when I'm 25. That's not possible. What would you like to achieve by the time you're 30? A uh, clear skin. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't even know. I just want to be alive. You want to be alive in yeah. four more, well, three more years? Yeah, I want to be alive. Okay, well, me, well, I'm turning 30 next year.
By the time I'm 35, let me let me just give myself a five-year goal. I would have loved to have cleared all my debt, first of all, have a house in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Do I want kids by the time I'm 35? I don't know, because me and wife, we want to be traveling. We're looking at living in different areas. So I don't know if that's best to do with kids. But yes, by the time I'm 35, have a house. What else did I say? Clear my debt. Yeah. And um, realtor. I want to buy houses and sell them or rent them. That's definitely my goals by the time I'm 35. Without a doubt. Bro, what's wrong with you? Why are you so serious? Apologize to him. Wait, whoa, um, <clears throat> pause, what? Apologize to him and he'll be good. Apologize for what? What did I do? For hurting him. We were playing basketball. And I took the ball away from him and then he slipped and fell on his butt. Now his little butt hurts. He said his tailbone, it's just his butt. It doesn't matter, it's your brother, just apologize. You want me to apologize? Yeah. Should I apologize? God damn it, I guess I have to. Bro. Oh, look at this oh, little brother. Bro. Mm. I love you, man. Me, I love you, man. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm not Joanna, bro. I'm sorry for hurting you. What 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 can I do to make it up for you? V-Bucks. V-Bucks? Yeah, V-Bucks is nuts. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Why is he so extra? Who is? Who did he come out being so extra? Not me, cause I'm not extra at all. I'm not extra. Oh, my mouth is burning. Your whole family is extra. Wait, what? Your whole family is extra. Oh. Jamie, do you hear this, Javen? Do you agree your with this, Javen? Besides oh. your grandpa is extra with a capital E. Why are you talking smack? You are now a part you of this know family. You this. <laughs> you have my last name. Wait, no, I haven't. Yes, you do. I claimed it. And you're not extra? No. You're hella extra. <laughs> when, when am I extra? Jetty, right, she's extra? Hell yeah. Please give me an example. You're extra with everything you do. Give me an example. Right now, you're speaking. You're being extra. Oh, you're waiting for me to be extra. Extra, you see, there you go. Extra, extra, read all about it. We're finally out the house right now. We're about to drop the little kid home because he can't walk home by himself. How old are you again? 12. Damn, what you got there, bro? Shoes. You got some vans? Mm-hmm. Back at it again, bro. So yes, we're dropping off my little brother's boyfriend um, at his crib. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start before I smack you in the face. Yeah, it's gonna drop him off. And then after that, I guess, I think we might just end up heading back home. I'm, 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 I'm craving some pizza. I haven't had pizza in a while. So I think me and wifey, I'm about to take wifey out on a little pizza date. Hey, let me You too. know what I'm saying? Me too. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, you made me bite my lip. Bro. All right, brother. Peace. Peace out. Take care. Tomorrow, back at it again. Bye. All right, brother, be safe. See you tomorrow. Remember to watch your butt. <laughs>